Now, I don't want y'all to think I'm doing my videos like Johnny B now, because I'm in the dark, but I got to say this, and I'm going to be rude. Mexican people, what the fuck is your goddamn problems? What is your fucking problem, Mexican people? And I'm not finished. White people, what is your goddamn problem? And black people, what in the fuck are you doing? Now, I've said that. And now I have to explain myself. So, I wake up this morning and it is 20 degrees. Now, this is California. 20 degrees is fucking cold. But it's nothing compared to what other people get in different states. Some people wake up right now, it's 8 degrees up in there. You know what I'm saying? So, it is 20 degrees outside. I decide to walk to the store buy an energy drink start getting in shape again I'm fat looks like I'm four months pregnant it ain't cool when you stand next to me you wanna rush me to the hospital real quick so listen I'm walking and I see this little Mexican boy and I shit you not he's fucking freezing I wanna take off my jacket and give to this kid but grown ass man wrapping a little boy up in some clothes he don't know you know might be misconstrued and I'm not trying to go to jail so I'm like dude it'll be okay as soon as you get to school just bear down school is not close alright but I know he had about what six blocks left shit if you really want an education you can make it so I'm getting closer to the store to pick up my energy drink I hit the corner there's two white girls, half-ass dressed, breasts is hanging out, booty shorts on their way to school. It is 20 degrees outside. 20 degrees. What the hell is going on with these kids nowadays? Go in the store and get my damn energy drinks today's energy drink which is no good for me because when I was going through the other stuff um, they told me not to drink these but I'm gonna drink my energy drink today I'm gonna let it get warm I learned a long time ago if you heat up a 7-up you heat it up right it's just like any herbal tea but since the 7-up it's probably chemicals and probably released something in my brain a long time ago when I used to warm my 7-up before I drank it okay so look All this is going on, and I'm walking back towards the house. Out comes a bunch of little black kids on their way to school now. Now, don't get me wrong. It looked like I was about to get chased down by the fucking warriors up in this beast, okay? They all thug down, big-ass jacket. They warm, but it looks like a gang. I know you might not understand what I'm saying, but you know what a gang looks like? It's just a perception. The pants hanging all the way off the ass. The super baggy jacket. It looked like I was going to get mugged by six little black kids. But I knew I was safe because they all got 75 fucking pound backpacks to carry to school. Because my son leaves with one on every day. But he don't dress like a thug, hoot little gangbanger. He dressed like an L7 square. Nope, not the skinny leg jeans. He still wears little kids' t-shirts sometimes, but he's too old for that shit. But he goes out, and I'm I'm at fault too. I'm I'm sort of lame with this shit too. When I was a kid. And I swear on this, on everything that I am, I had a shirt on with the t-shirt on underneath it, with a pair of underwear on, with pants on, on top of them, sometimes a pair of thermal underwear on, with the thermals, we had thermals, we had layers of clothing, we were sent out the house every morning 
prepared. We might have been burning up at the end of the day, but we wasn't freezing cold. We got the swine flu jumping off. All they need is a little kid to be half-ass sick and boom, like a firestorm rushing through a hillside with dry timber. What are we doing sending our kids outside half-dressed? And didn't I just tell you that I'm guilty of this too? When my son gets a ride to school every day. He gets picked up from school every day. If he doesn't want to, then he walks. Other than that, someone's there to get him at all times. He is... No. My son is not going to be just left willy-nilly. If anything happens, God forbid anything stupid happening to any kid, we in re I can run to where my son is in less than 10 minutes. I would have to. So, I mean, to let your son or your daughter leave out the house in 20 degree weather with shorts on and a t-shirt is stupid. Where are the values? And my son this morning, he left with a sweat jacket on, similar to the one I'm wearing. Same thing I walked to the store in, because I was testing it. Just in case he, he might have to hang outside the school or whatever. Once his auntie drop him off, he's not going to be freezing. These kids dress up like they're going to some fucking nightclub. The young ladies I saw walking. Freezing! Look like Paris and Nicole freezing their ass off in, in Nebraska in the middle of December. Trying to walk to the barn. It's pitiful. These kids are walking long distances, large backpacks, no freaking clothes on. And it's winter time. I don't care if this is California. It's pitiful. You don't want to see no freaking high school girls walking with their breasts out 20, 20 degrees in the morning either. Not cool. Especially when they're walking past the work crews hanging out on, on the corners and shit. And it's not cool. It's not cool. And it might rain. But wait, of course they lied. Sun's out. Cancel the rain. But I've seen my son leave out here with a damn t-shirt on. His jacket, oh my jacket's in the backpack. I go push his room door open, his jacket sitting right there. What happened to the t-shirt and the shirt? After the belt on the pants. What happened to the young girls walking to school when they look like girls instead of prostitutes? What happened to parents actually giving a damn when the kid leaves the front door? I just want you to, to think when you let your kid leave tomorrow morning. Especially your little kids leaving with a pair of fucking shorts on in 20 degree weather. While we got a flu epidemic of major criminal proportions about to jump off in our country. What happened to that hot breakfast in the morning? You can tell these kids didn't leave with no breakfast. Mine didn't. What happened to waking up early enough to take care of your shit before you leave out the house with your kids? What happened to that? As we grow older and our population grows younger, we must not forget what we've forgotten. We must teach our kids something because once we're gone, they might be going to school nude. Trying to look cute in the future. I don't know. But what I do know is this. Life ain't like it used to be. Things are getting tougher. And it is cold as hell outside. And you've been tubed.